Welcome to the second lesson of this short series. In the first lesson, we were able to add the elements and style them. We want to create a form like this that will validate data on the fly. So in this second lesson, we begin with JavaScript, whereby we are going to add the validation functionalities, okay? So, we go back to our file, we added the CSS, we added the HTML, so we don't need to see these things now, so I will just collapse them, we'll just collapse the CSS to, to give me more space, okay? So I'm going to add my script there. You can either add the script in the head or in the body, it depends. Now, we want this script to run after the window has finished loading, okay? So, we're going to add an event listener to the window. The event is load, and we're going to pass in anonymous function. And the use capture is going to be false. So in this way, all our code will run after the window has finished loading. Now, you may see some people doing this way. It's okay, there is no difference between this and this, only that this is old fashioned and this is a new way. So you may do this or this, but for me, I will use this one, okay? So in between these curly braces is when we are going to write all our code, okay? In this lesson, We'll only add functionality for the username. Now, one thing you'll notice about me is that I'm not going to use document.getElementById. This is why. Because when the window has finished loading all the HTML, all the elements which have an ID, the ID actually becomes a JavaScript variable in itself. So for example, this, the cool form has this ID. Now we can be able to access this as a variable in JavaScript. So for me, I will not use it. I will just use the ID as the variables. For example, now I'm targeting the username input, which has the ID of username. So I'm going to use that as a JavaScript variable because it's allowed like that. Okay. So I'm going to add event listener the event that i'm listening for is key up that means when someone is typing so we're going to pass in anonymous function the use capture is going to be false with as is with most cases so what we're going to do here when the user is typing, this function will run over and over again, and that's what will be validated. So when you look at the functionality, let's go back to the form. When the user is typing, when he starts typing, and the length of the username is less than 6, it will say too short. So until when he... Until that time when he types in a long enough username, that's when it will check, okay? So how do we do that? This is how we do it. So this function, we are going to pass in the event, okay? And we are going to create a new variable calling it username. And we are going to assign it to the event 
this one that we passed here dot target now this means the event that the, the the HTML element that called this function, we are now targeting it and getting the value. Okay, now that will be the username. So after assigning it to a variable, now we are going to check whether this value is great, whether its length is greater than six. So we are going to use an if condition here if username dot length is greater than six or we should just say less than six if it's less than six we are going to run some code here okay if it's equal or greater than six we'll run the else okay so how we are going to do this is we are going to to put out an error in the span this span that is lies next to the input okay we're going to create another variable called response response box and now this will be that span we're going to make it to be the event dot target dot next element sibling now since this username will be a child of the list item we're going to say to make it target the next element sibling you see this is, a, this is, an, this is an element now we're targeting the next element sibling now that will be the response box okay so we're going to assign it some value so the response box dot inner HTML is going to be a string of now that's the the character entity for across okay that X thing so that's to output that so let's check it save refresh when you start typing it will say too short okay so it's working the next thing we're going to make this response box have red text so we're going to say response box dot style dot color equals to red so that will make the text red equally if the username meets this requirement we are going to go to the else condition which will all only do such kind of a thing so here we want to make it to give that check or tick it will give that value and the color will be green so let's refresh so I start typing when it meets the requirement the color becomes green okay so you see that's how we've done it so due to time we will end our lesson there the next lesson i'm going to show you how to remove those characters like when you're typing and you want to put space you see how it's removing the space you want to type
special characters the next lesson i'll show you how to remove those okay so see you in the next lesson